Okay, today we're going to add a combo box, a little drop down box for us to uh, pick items from, uh, text items that is. So let's get started. I'm going to go into our text editor and start working on our code. I also want to mention our code's starting to get a little long, not very long, page or two, probably just a page if the font wasn't so big. Um, and if this was a real project, we would want to be commenting like crazy so we know what's going on. Uh, so when you start working on projects, remember comment uh, and comment your code so not only other people can read it, but if you don't look at it for a while, you know what's going on. So let's start by adding a combo box here. Let's add it up here underneath our text box. And we're going to say self dot, we'll just call it combo equals GTK combo underscore box underscore entry underscore new underscore text. And I believe there's different type of combo boxes. This is the one that I use. Uh, I think there's one where you can actually type stuff. It's text box and combo box, which is what we're working with. So if there's something you want to have typed out that isn't in the list, you can type it in. And then there's regular combo boxes that you can't type into. Uh, maybe we'll look at those in the future. Uh, but for right now, we're going to use combo box entry uh, boxes. So you can type or pick something from a list. So here we go. We've created our object. We called it combo. And it's a GTK combo box entry new text. And now we're going to want to uh, connect that to something. So we're going to say self.combo.connect. And we're going to say when it's changed. So whenever you pick something from the list or you type something into the box, we're going to run a function. And we're going to call it self.combo underscore text. And that's a function that we will create in a moment. But we have to add something to items to the drop down box, to the combo box. So we're going to say self.combo dot append underscore text. And then inside these uh, parentheses, we're going to add some quotations. And we'll say this is some text. And then we'll add another one. We'll say self dot combo dot append underscore text. This is option number two. And we'll just put two in there for now. We'll come back and add some more in a little bit. But now we have to add our function. The function that we want to link that to, which we called combo underscore text. So we're going to come up here. We're going to define a new function. So define combo underscore text. And we're going to say self comma widget. And as you've gone over, the widget is going to be, in this case, that combo box. And we're going to say um, self dot text box, which is our text box, we're going to change our text box. So when you pick something from the combo box, it's going to change the text box. And since the text box is set to change the label and the title any times it's changed, so it will actually change all three when you choose something from the combo box. And all we have to do is type in self dot text box dot set text. And then inside here, we're going to type in, see, this was confusing me at first. I was trying to do this. It's been a while since I used GTK. And I was um, putting set text or get text is what I was putting. But we're going to actually going to want, oh, I just did self again. Widget, which is our combo box, dot, not get text, but get active text. And our parentheses there. Let's give this a try. Hopefully we typed everything right. We'll hit enter. No errors so far. 
Oh, we forgot to package our combo box, so you can't see it yet. It's created, but it isn't visible because it hasn't been put anywhere. So we're going to come down here. We're going to add to our vertical box. We're going to say self dot box two dot pack underscore start self dot combo. Looking good. Okay. And so it should appear right underneath our text box. Start that up. There it is. So as I said, we can, since this is a, not a regular combo box, this is a combo text box or whatever it's called entry box, we can type stuff in here and you can see it changes it. So it works as a text box, but it also works as a drop down box. We should be able to choose something from here. Boom. I chose option two. It changed the text box, which in turn changed our label and our title. I can click on here and choose. This is some text. There we go. Let's go a little bit deeper into this. And, uh, well, you know what, that's it for this tutorial. I don't want this tutorial to get too long. But next, in the next tutorial, we are going to show how to add new items to the combo box within the GUI, so not just to write in the code here. So thank you for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. And check out our forum, filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you have a great day.